Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'm so happy to have you. So happy to be here doing this for you guys. This is going to be a reading for the collective, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Thank you guys so much for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, we're going to go ahead and tap into the reading. Take a look at what's going on here for the collective. You guys... I guess I'm picking up on I'm picking up on some regret here. Okay. Yeah, somebody somebody regrets something, right? Yeah, picking up that somebody regrets what they've done, something they've done, something they've said, somebody wishes they could take something back, right? Something like that, right? We're gonna go ahead and tap in, take a look at this energy, you guys. Please remember to take only what resonates with you, what does not please leave it. All energy is fluid, so it can be for your past, your present, or your future, okay? Let's go ahead and get tapped into the reading, you guys. I feel like somebody's definitely losing sleep, right? They're definitely losing sleep over what they've done. Picking up on lotus energy, right? Like a lotus flower. Yeah, something to do with lotus. I'm rebuilding something beautiful coming from the mud, right? This could be what this person's hoping. I don't know about that, right? That's the energy that I'm getting, but let's see. What What did I just say? Stop? Mm. I feel like somebody's like, stop, please. Like, I don't want to hear it type of energy. That's what I'm picking up on, right? Somebody's overhearing something over and over again from someone. I feel like this is a cycle, yeah, that's what I'm picking up on. Like, that's the current energy I'm picking up on with someone. Divine feminine, divine masculine, please take it how it resonates, right? Somebody is loving themselves. I feel like somebody has been putting everyone else before them, overextending themselves. That's why I'm picking up that energy to stop. Like, I don't want to hear this, like, type of energy, like, we keep doing this over and over again or something. There's a cycle here. Right? I feel like this person really does not know what to say. Right? There's something this person does not know what to say um, to keep you from walking away. Or you could have already walked away. You could even be in no contact. You could have blocked this person. Right? Or you could barely be in contact. Right? Minimal contact, I'm getting, right? If you have to be in contact with this person, yeah, I'm picking up on something limited. But um, I'm seeing here, the lie they told wasn't worth it. And they're seeing that now. Uh-huh. Somebody was dishonest. Stubbornness. Mm. I feel like this person feels as though you're being stubborn. You won't hear them out. Or they feel like if they try and talk to you and explain their side of the story, try and plead their case that you won't, you won't listen. Yeah, I feel like this person does want to plead their case. They feel like you're very closed off from them. That's why I'm picking up on that blocked energy, right? Mm -hmm. What else do we have here? Yeah. I keep hearing that song. Please don't go. Something, please don't go. I kept hearing that. Please don't go. Please don't go. I think, I don't know who sings that song. It's please don't go though, right? Um, I'm seeing, um, they're scared to lose you, but I feel like they feel like they've already lost you for good, right? Yeah, they want to come clean about something, right? They want to give clarity about something. Whatever has taken place, right? Whatever they lied about, they definitely want to plead their case. I keep saying plead the case. There could be some legal issues going on with this person too, right? Yeah, there could be some type of legal issues going on with this person. Something to do with court. Criminal, crime, something like that. Something to do with the legal, law, child, I don't know. Hmm. What else do we get? I just heard co-defendant, child. I don't know what's going on here. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. What else is going on? What is going on with this person? This person is going through it. Look, what did I say? This person feels like they're cursed right now. I feel like this person's getting karma. 
The karma is like, I feel like this person may be having some legal issues too. Like a catastrophe I'm seeing, misfortune, things like falling apart. Something to do with hate, right? They may feel like you hate them. Uh-huh. Yeah, this person, look, if they feel like there's a curse, right? Some type of voodoo, black magic going on here. I feel like this is their karma, though. I just feel like this is their karma. But they feel like there's some type of spell work, right? Look, something coming to an end and a new beginning, right? This person is experiencing an awakening, y'all. I'm seeing this is like, look, endless harm, inevitable, right? Yeah, they're facing an awakening. And they're definitely facing an awakening with how you are reacting to them. I feel like that's part of it. It's karma. They're going through it, right? <sighs> These are seeds that they have planted. Look at this, origin. Seeds that they have planted. Yeah, they're, they're reaping like the harvest of the seeds that they have planted, right? Yeah, they're the origin of this, right? Something to do with the weekend. Something could have taken place on the weekend. Um, this person could be trying to communicate with you over the weekend. Spirit, please give us more of what we got. Okay, thank you. I'm seeing blessing and promise. I promise, promise, right? You were a blessing to them. They see that now, like their good luck charm. You see that? I'm seeing like a good luck charm on this card with this um, elephant here. Yeah, and then I'm seeing promise. Nothing is promised to me and you. So why can't we let this thing go? They want to let this go and move on. Yeah, that's the song by, um, I think it was Jagged Edge. Yeah, look. Ooh. I'm seeing bribe, temptation. They were tempted. There's a third party here. Mm-hmm. So they lied about the third party. That's what I'm seeing here. Some temptation. Mm-hmm. Temptation. Wow. Compromise. Now they want to compromise. <laughs> okay. This person is something else, right? I know they feel like they know that you're tired of dealing with the same old stuff with them, right? The same old cycle. They know that. They know that you're tired of this, right? So I feel like this is an energy that they had you in before, possibly in competition with someone before. Uh-huh. And you're like, yeah, no, I'm not doing this again with you, right? Yeah. Wow. I feel like they want to come clean about it, right? Is what I'm getting. They want to come clean about it. I feel like in the past, you tried to deal with this with this person, right? You tried dealing with this. They didn't know. They, they didn't want to deal with it, right? It's like, it's like they know that you were tired of dealing with their dismissive, nonchalant attitude, right? Like they were avoiding this, right? They were avoiding this. Like they knew that you knew that something was going on and you kept trying to get to the bottom of it. And they kept being like dismissive, this attitude that they had, like nonchalant, like they were closed off and avoiding is what I'm getting with you, right? They would avoid it. They would may even like turn the tables on you. Uh-huh. They may even may have spun it back on you is what I'm getting, like that reverse psychology or something. Yeah. I feel like somebody was coaching them too. They were getting advice from somebody. Mm-hmm. But now they want to be honest with you. I keep hearing that. I keep hearing now was it worth it? Now was it worth it? I feel like this may be something that you said to this person. This could be what you're thinking. This could even be what this person is thinking, right? Mm-hmm. It's like someone being scolded, right? Or talked to like, you know, like a kid, like just being scolded. Yeah. I'm seeing that like they're seeing that 
you're out like celebrating, enjoying yourself without them. This is a type of energy that they're picking up on. They can't believe this, right? Like, it's like you, they're like, how are you good without me, right? Oh, there's some conflict. Hmm. Mm-hmm. There's some conflict. Yeah, this third party. There's some conflict with this third party is what I'm getting, right? Mm-hmm. Or there was some conflict. They don't know how, what to say to come back after this. And I feel like they know that it, they coming back to you. I feel like there's like, they feel like you're going to judge them. Something about how you look at them, right? There's like that judgment, right? Like you can look right through them, right? And it's like they want to face you, but they're afraid to face you. It's that look, right? You will look right through them. I'm seeing conflict. I feel like this person would take the conflict. Any type of um, communication from you is better than nothing because I feel like you have moved into an energy possibly of where they don't exist or have at some point. And this is crushing them. Ciao. Uh-huh. I feel like you're very intuitive. So it could be a psychic, a tarot reader I'm talking to, right? A spiritualist, but you're very tapped in, right? And it's like you see right through them. You're very empathic though, right? So you're an empath, right? They that soft nurturing energy that you have, right? Able to put yourself in um or able to able to put yourself in someone else's shoes like and feel how they're feeling right they feel like that they feel like that would have kept you open towards them so this is really a sting right because the energy that i'm picking up on divine feminine you definitely have the ability as nurturing as you are you can definitely act like someone doesn't exist there could be an aquarius here i'm just saying picking up on some Aquarius energy, right? Yeah. But I feel like this is how they can tell that you're done with them or this is how they feel that you're done with them for good, something like that, right? This person can't even sleep. I feel like this person can't even eat right now. They feel like they have really like I'm picking up on, I don't know, I keep hearing these songs, but they feel like they walked out of heaven, which is, right? Yeah, they feel like they threw everything away, right? With this last move, right? Yeah, the lie was not worth it. It was not worth it. This lie was not worth it, y'all. Um, I'm definitely picking up on, they want one last chance, right? They want one last chance to show you how they truly feel about you, right? They feel like you are going to judge them though. That's the, that's what frightens them, right? Cause you can look right through them. They feel like there's judgment here, right? Like, ow, I'm picking up on judgment. Yep, mm-hmm. They wanna come towards you, but they don't know how, Divine Feminine. I'm telling you what, and I don't know how you feeling about this, child. Let's see here, because I feel like you done put them in nothing land, right? Look, strategy. This person's trying to be very strategic to come back to you, right? I feel like they were very private and sneaky about things in the past, and that definitely irks you because you were very straight up with this person. There was nothing hidden. There wasn't any illusions. You were straight up. And here's this person operating in, you know, a, a veil, behind a veil. You know, something to do with moonlight, moving around through moonlight at night, right? This person may have moved around at night a lot, okay? Um, but I feel like, you know, they were very private and sneaky about things, right? And he, that's an... There must be an Aquarius here because Aquarius and that sneaky stuff, yeah. Somebody could have Aquarius in your their chart. That's for some of you guys, not all of you guys. But um, it's like they really, they felt as though they didn't have to explain themselves or they were very evasive. Yeah. 
something to do with not being clear, not wanting to explain their, themselves. I feel like you questioned them in the past, right? You definitely questioned them about what was going on, right? And I feel like now they want to be honest with you, right? And it's like, um, where's this coming from now? I feel like there was definitely some conflict. I feel like they got it handed to them. This person's getting karma all around the board because again, I did pick up on some legal issues. Yeah, court, something like that, right? This is this bitter energy, right? I'm picking up on some bitter energy. Somebody's bitter here. Tart. Yeah. What else we got here? Like lemons. Lemony. What do we got? Alliance. Trust. This person knows that they broke the trust with you. And that's not easy to get from people. Especially, you know, I feel like um, in this day and time... And then also, too, Divine Feminine, you look, you don't give that out willy-nilly, your trust, and they broke it, right? Look, natural disaster, they caused it, right? Because I'm seeing this is like the origin. They created this. They feel like somebody's doing spell work on them. They feel like it, it's a hex or a curse. It's not a hex or a curse. These are the seeds that they planted. This is karma, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. I'm seeing like the more distant you are or the more distance that you have. It's something about the distance, right? The more distance, the more you distance yourself from them or something, right? It's like the more that they want you is what I'm getting, right? It's something about this distance that is creating um, a desire in this person, right? Mm-hmm. This could also be triggering an awakening with them. Yep. This could definitely, this natural disaster. I'm seeing a natural disaster. So it's like um, winds and rain and all of this stuff. Look, a natural disaster, right? Get FEMA in here, right? They need some help. This person need help, right? Child, I feel like they're getting it though. They're going through a spiritual awakening, right? They've been... They've been up all night thinking about you, right? But again, I feel like this, this could also be, you know, triggering this spiritual awakening. Um, it's like, I feel like your spirituality, your spirituality attracts it, it, this attracts them, right? And I feel like this is because they were close to an awakening. That's why your spirituality attracts them. So it was almost essentially a guide with this person, your specific person, your SP, right? This was like, you were like a guide to this person almost. This person was very fragmented and distorted when they were with you. Yeah. 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 I feel like they hope that, their hope, right? They hope that you don't feel like, like they're trash or discard them like trash. Remember, it's picking up on that energy, right? It's like, you're very empathetic. You're very nurturing. You're very caring. But you can also put somebody where they don't matter at all. You can act like they don't exist. I don't feel like it's an act. You have the ability to make that separation. I feel like that's a divine gift too, right? It's protection, but it's also a divine gift, right? Um, to whereas you can separate yourself, you can disconnect when something is not healthy or it's not, um, it's not on your vibration, right? And I feel like this person is really hoping that you really didn't discard them like trash, right? Because they can't believe it because you have that nurturing energy, right? Yeah. I feel like they know they lied and they, they put on an act, Right. This person lied, deceived you, put on an act is what I'm getting. Um, but they want you to see them as a human being is what I'm getting, right? Because like it's a very cold energy I'm picking up on from you, Divine Feminine, with regards to this person. There's some coldness here and this is hurting them. This is hurting them, right? They thought that this was going to be like any other cycle with you guys, right? Uh-uh. 
This is causing them a great deal of pain. Spirit, please give us more. Mm, mm hmm Readiness, right? I'm seeing readiness. There's a lot of gossip going on and also embarrassment, right? They feel like you're going to shame them. They're shaming themselves though, right? And how they behave is what I'm getting. Something to do with an accident, okay? So this person you know, could have had an accident, could have gotten hurt. I feel like their goal is to come back towards you, okay? They know that it'll be hard to convince you. They they know they they know that this is a huge challenge um, to convince you, right? They know you got options. They know that light shines bright, and they know that you're very attractive, divine feminine. But it's inside out attractiveness, right? So it's just not superficial. You're through and through, right? You are that divine feminine. And the next thing is, you did not chase, right? You did not chase. And this is confusing them because they don't understand you are that divine feminine. Divine feminine does not chase. Divine feminine attracts. So they're confused, right? But this masculine is going through an awakening, right? Right? Because I feel like they're distorted or fragmented, right? So I feel like this definitely triggered an awakening with them. Um, but yeah, they I feel like they haven't, they've had options. They've had, they could have been a player, right? Options. They've had a lot, quantity, but not quality. You might be their first divine feminine. Ciao. They feel in this loss, grieving it, right? Hurting. It's kind of... Fate's kicking in, y'all. Something to do with a third wheel. Oh, somebody is overwhelmed. Something to do with overloaded. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. I feel like even though they were with this other person, it's always been you that they want, right? Right? They just thought that they could keep coming back and forth, right? But it's always been you that they wanted, right? Or that they want. They they keep they keep it a secret because they don't know if that judging eye, you have a judging eye. So they're they've been hiding these emotions, wanting to come back towards you, right? It's something the way you look at this person that affects them. Maybe you know it, maybe you don't, right? Yeah. Something to do with sunflowers, sunflower seeds. I don't know, I just heard sunflower seeds. I just seen it like a vision, like sunflowers. Yeah, but I feel like this person is more emotional than you think. Yep. And I feel like there's going to be a faded meeting here. Something to do with a faded meeting. I'm seeing a third wheel. Y'all, an overload. Seeing you again is definitely going to change the game is what I'm getting. Look at the bottom of the deck. You're about to get an apology. This person wants to sincerely apologize to you. And I'm seeing confessions. They want forgiveness. I'm seeing this person feels guilty about what happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They definitely want your healing energy. Okay, because I feel like this person's going through an awakening, right? They're overloaded, not knowing what to do, not knowing what to do with what they're feeling. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, definitely a lot of overwhelming emotions. And it's like your light heals, right? Your light, it's something about your light. It heals them. Yep. And I feel like this person feels like you are not going to take them seriously coming towards them. It's almost like, yeah, right. And the award goes to, I see, like, yeah, that's the energy that I'm getting. It's like, yeah, give them a round of applause for their acting, their acting skills, right? Yeah, I feel like they feel as though you're definitely not going to take them seriously. It's like, and the award, or how's it go, the Oscar, or the award goes to whoever. Yeah, yeah. But they cry more than you know about you, right? You may not know that they cry at all. This person has been crying about you, right? Hurt. Mm-hmm. Your light heals them, okay? You have that healing light. 
healing energy and that that they miss that they miss that this is a very rocky time for them i'm getting oh look at this first card out we got the devil card capricorn energy on the board right when i said a very rocky time for them, right? A difficult time. I feel like they're coming out of this codependent, toxic um, energy, right? Yeah, controlling. There could have been some energy of, I'm seeing um, some type of like dependency. Could have been chemical dependency. This person could have been drinking a lot or something like that. Because I feel like, you know, it's like when you're getting ready to go through an awakening could be a dark night of the soul, an ego death, both, right? It's all really one and the same. Um, the cycle. It's a very, it's a very sobering experience, right? It's a very um it wakes you up. It's a very sobering experience to whereas, you know, people do a lot of self-medicating because they don't know how to deal with these deep emotions. It's like everything comes to the top and it forces you to deal with it and break the conditionings and break the habits. And I feel like this is a rocky time for this person and they really want your healing energy. <laughs> Excuse me. They want your healing energy, right? Yeah, Capricorn energy on the board. You could be a Capricorn. Your person could be a Capricorn. Yeah, you can have Capricorn in your chart. I feel like in a way they feel like it's a crime that you guys aren't together, right? Or they robbed themselves. They committed a crime against themselves by robbing themselves of you, right? Yeah, because I'm telling you right now, they feel they need your energy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like they want to move on from this situation so bad. That's the energy that I'm getting. They want to move on from this situation, right? They know they moved very scandalous is what I'm getting. That was what I was hearing earlier. I was looking at my notes. Yeah, it's like they know that they move very scandalous. Something to do with scandal or scandalous, right? Yeah, keeping secrets, moving privately, lying. I call that scandal. Yeah, look, Aquarius energy on the board. Wait a minute. <laughs> Star card. This is saying that something is good, right? Something is a good move. Let's go deeper. We got a card turned over here. What is this? Oh, an abundant new beginning, right? I am seeing an abundant new beginning here. Divine Feminine, use your intuition. Use your intuition on this, right? Because these cards are saying something. Mm, yeah. Yeah, they want to move on from this situation. They really do. Um, I feel like they regret deceiving you, right? There's major regret. They know what they've done wrong now, right? Um, it's like they didn't take you seriously maybe in the past is what I'm getting. They they didn't take you seriously, right? Yeah. They want to settle down. I feel like they want to settle down with someone like you. They always did. And they blew it, right? It wasn't worth it. I just keep hearing it wasn't worth it. And I'm hearing like, is he or she worth it at this point? That may be what you're going to be thinking or how you're feeling right now. If this person's currently in your energy, it's like, is this even worth the effort at this point? Yeah. But it's like, there's nothing... I, I'm picking up on the energy. It's like it's it's nothing that they can do, right? There's nothing. It's like there's nothing that they can do with this problem, right? There's nothing to do with the seeds that they planted, right? They're ashamed of themselves, right? Fumbling a divine feminine because now they know you, you're different. They never had a divine feminine before, right? A divine feminine spirit. Please give us more. Yeah. 
Yeah, your SP never experienced this before. Spirit, please give us more for the collect. Thank you. Oh. Cancer energy on the board. This person is definitely going to make a move to come towards you. I feel like this person is just like the heck with it. I have to try. They know that you have options. They know that time is of the essence with you, right? Is somebody's going to snatch you up or somebody could be trying to snatch you up? Cancer energy on the board. Look at that. Action oriented, right? That's that energy, right? Mm, Queen of Wands, right? Yeah, they want to come back. Why I keep seeing that card? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, look. They want a new, abundant beginning with you. They feel like they're going to get their heart broken, right? Like they broke your heart. Because they feel like you are not going to accept their offer. I feel like this person's willing to make a fool of themselves for you at this point, right? Mm-hmm. Something to do with six years. You guys could have been together for six years, known each other for six years, something like that. Look, didn't I tell you that Queen of Cups energy? That nurturing love, empathetic love, overextending, right? You went above and beyond with this person. You showered them with love and healing energy that they've never felt before. And they want that back, the Queen of Cups. Mm-hmm. They want that back, right? I feel like they are filled with emotions, right? Filled with emotions, okay? I feel like there was some immature energy. I don't know why I just heard like um, big boy getting your big boy draws or something like that. Like, yeah, I feel like this person has grown, right? Or they're in they're in the midst of an awakening is what I'm getting, right? There's growth here, okay? I feel like they know that you're angry and furious with them, right? Deep down inside, I feel like they're hoping at least you're angry and furious with them. Because again, I feel like you got them in nothing land, right? Yeah, like you feel nothing, right? Just a numbness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like they know that you're angry and furious or hope that you feel something with them. Um, they know what they did. Makes absolutely no sense. It made absolutely no sense for them to risk everything, to throw everything away is what I'm getting here. Yeah, it made absolutely no sense what they did. They sabotaged the whole connection, right? Yeah. But it's like that numbness, that coldness that they're getting from you. They don't care if you rips them or rip them a new, a new one, right? They don't care. As long as you talk to them, as long as you show some type of emotion to them, right? As long as you act like they exist, because right now they feel like they don't exist. And they they want everything with you now. Ten of Pentacles, right? It's a lot of mental trauma here, child. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm picking up on, right? Yeah, they could have caused you a lot of mental trauma. Uh-huh. I feel like this masculine, it's like they, this masculine tells the truth to the, the karmics or the third parties, but lies to you, protects your emotions, right? What the heck? And they felt like that was okay. They know that that's not okay now, right? They know that that's not okay. They felt like if it was okay as long as they told them the truth about you, but didn't but protected you from them, didn't tell you the truth or something. This person, wow. Wow. I feel like this person is trying to get spiritual guidance. This person could be getting readings on you. They could be getting tarot readings, oracle readings, tea leaf readings crystal ball readings, right? Yeah, somebody is trying to get some type of spiritual guidance, right? Some type of 
Somebody could be traveling. I hear a plane. Yeah, planes going over. They know there's a lot of work to do. Spirit, please give us more. Please give us more. Mmm. Please give us more for the collective. I feel like... I feel like the reason they're trying to get spiritual advice is because they feel like they've gotten advice about you in the past and it's been bad advice. Yeah. And it feels like, like I'm picking up on the energy, like deep down inside, they don't feel like they're good enough. I feel like it's like you won't believe the reason why they did what they did, but they want to tell you anyway, right? They really want to be vulnerable with you. They want to open up with you because, again, you have that healing energy. They feel safe to do that, right? Yeah, they want to tell you, but I feel like you stopped talking to them. I feel like you have them blocked on every angle. Like, I feel like this person couldn't even send a message to you via um, carrier pigeon at this point, y'all. I'm not trying to be funny, but I feel like you really shut down everything like Fort Knox, right? You got to shut down. Like, and that's another thing to where as it's like, they're like, you've moved on forever because it's like, you never shut down all communication. And then I feel like they've been spying and they're like seeing you like happy, celebrating, living. You could be going to different events to where they see you celebrating or something like that. And they're like, you got them shut down. You haven't talked to them. They were used to like all of this attention from you. And they mistake your attention, your nurturing energy as though you were chasing them is what I'm getting. But it wasn't you were chasing them. You were just being the queen of cups. You were you were in a relationship. You were loving on them, right? You were being the, the divine feminine in the relationship. And they had it mistaken, right? You didn't chase them. Child, you didn't chase them. This person's like, wait a minute. Yeah, you're different. And now it's like you got them blocked, delete, everything. Like, I feel they couldn't even, child, you done shut it down, right? Mm-hmm. But I feel like, I feel like they want to talk to you, right? But you stopped talking to them, like no contact, block. You went from queen of cups to queen of swords is what I'm getting, right? Yeah, yeah. They wasn't ready for that energy. Divine feminine. Uh-huh. I feel like I'm picking up with divine feminine. There's a lot of emotional maturity, a lot of emotional intelligence, right? I feel like there is still chemistry between you guys. Because I am seeing here, we have the Queen of Wands and we have the King of Wands, right? So there's still a lot of attraction there, right? But I'm feeling like um, Divine Feminine's like very emotionally mature and intelligent, right? So that's not going to be enough. This attraction that you guys share, I'm seeing this person being strategic, planning to come back towards you. Something to do with justice in the court system. Again, right, this person could be having some legal issues. This person's about to break out with communication when you least expect it. I feel like somebody, this person, if there's going to be a faded meeting. You guys are going to bump into each other or either they're going to have somebody do some interference. I picked up on that with someone else. Yeah, that card came out to where is they're going to have help, right? Remember, Alliance came out mm -hmm. to put you in the same place as them. And they're going to take full advantage of communication at that point. So you guys, if you get some random invites or something like that. Now, this is for some of you guys, not all of you guys, but you get some random invites or to get togethers and things like that. There could be somebody trying to um, run some interference here, right? Somebody helping, um, helping this person in alliance to bring you guys together, okay? Because this person needs help because you got everything shut down, right? All communication. You guys, I'm leaving this reading here, y'all. I, I hope this resonated with someone. Thank you guys so, so much. And I will see you for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love you. Bye.